much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you have Aries placements, this reading is for you. If this reading doesn't resonate, please head over to the videos tab. There might be another reading that is more suitable for your individual circumstance. Please note energy and time are fluid and depending on where you are on your timeline, this reading may or may not resonate. Okay, so today I was guided to work with one of my all-time favorite um, decks which is called the power of love to tap into your overall energy so Aries how are you feeling now here's something interesting that I want to share with you before I even start your reading I do meditation I cleanse your space and pre-shuffle the cards many times and when I was pre-shuffling my tarot deck you would not believe I was three times so first time the queen of wands was at the bottom of the deck I split the deck so I shuffled, split the deck again, again, Queen of Wands on the split. Third time, so I shuffled again afterwards, split the deck again. Guess what? Queen of Wands. So somebody here really needs to um, embody the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is the Aries energy. So what does that mean? It's about being that magnetic version of yourself, knowing who you are and claiming, claiming your personal power. So that could be a big message for somebody. I just needed to share that because three times this has never happened to me. That three times at the bottom of the deck on the split every single time there are 78 cards. So it's not like there's only like 10 cards and the probability of getting the same card is high. It's yeah. So strong message. Anywho. Freedom. So the first card we have in your overall energy is you are desiring freedom. If you haven't watched yesterday's reading, go check it out. There is a very powerful, potent message. Not going to repeat it. Go watch it. It's in the videos tab and I will link it to this video. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Definitely go and watch that reading from yesterday. It's a game changer. It's yeah, it's a game changer. Go check it out willingness this is gorgeous freedom willingness you are able to compromise if the end result is love so these cards here are saying to me that all you want Aries is freedom freedom in your life freedom to show up as your who you are your authenticity and what you made up of and you're willing you're willing you're willing and able to do the work you're willing to do what it takes to get to where you want to get to whether it's in a job situation love situation business situation if you're doing a creative venture or project you're willing to do what it takes you're not going to be settling that's the energy i'm picking up because to you what matters most in this moment in time is your ultimate freedom now this if this is what you're desiring this full moon um which is happening tomorrow today is the final day to register and book if you want to be part of the full moon ritual this is exactly what we're doing we're talking up the full moon ritual is focusing on your freedom claiming your freedom and that version of you that you desire to be in this very moment so it's about releasing and being willing to do the work so if you're willing to do the work take this as a sign if you're feeling the calling head to the communities tab or comment below and i'll send you the link today is the final day to register all right gratitude yes Tell me in comments, what are you great, grateful for at this moment in time? I love this because this is just a few days out of Thanksgiving. Just give me a second. I need to have some water. <coughs> Sorry about that. All of a sudden, I um, had this dry throat. So this gratitude card is saying to me that you are feeling grateful in your heart, in your soul. And it's no coincidence that this reading is happening just a few days after thanksgiving just need to have more water <coughs> <coughs> mm, really sorry about that strong message with gratitude like to have that many interruptions i, I do apologize can't do anything about it we're in the middle of your reading there's some powerful cards spirit is saying keep going you know just rolling with it I'm a human. <laughs> These things happen. So let's just roll with it. You finally appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. Yeah. So it's fe about feeling grateful. So tell me in comments, what are you grateful for right this minute, right now in your life? It could be as simple as wait. It's not simple. It could be just waking up alive another day, another day on the planet or having a hot meal 
or having a hot shower. It doesn't have to be fancy pantsy designer. It just has to be what are you grateful for this moment, this very moment? Are you willing to accept more gratitude, more blessings? That's what gratitude, gratitude is all about. And I feel that everyone at the moment might be in this grateful energy, particularly if you've spent some time with your family, loved ones, or have been having holidays. And we are approaching the festive season. So I know that we start to feel more open, more free, more, um, we look forward to certain things as well. Elevation, love this. Definitely somebody needs to watch the reading from yesterday. If you're new to my world, I do Aries readings daily. I also do one minute reads, which is in the short section. And there's always something fun and fabulous in the communities tab. So go check it out. Everything is in the videos tab. If you can't find it, I will link it. But this elevation card is talking about you are making the conscious decision to ra raise your vibration of love. I mean, these three cards right here are summing up quite beautifully where you are on your journey and where you're going, Aries. These three cards right here. It's all talking about your freedom and elevation. Why do you desire freedom? Because you desire something different for yourself and you've come to the level of awareness that you deserve better. You desire more. You want more. You want to feel more expansive. For someone here, I feel like this is to do with your spiritual journey. You're on embarking on a spiritual journey and you're really feeling that sense of elevation and expansion. And it's almost like this whole new world has opened up to you. And the more you're getting into this world and knowing about this world, you want to get more and more into that world because it's giving you this sense of freedom and gratitude that you're feeling because maybe you're getting more intuitive downloads, feeling more trusted, whatever the case may be for you. But I feel like I need to share that. Now, let's see. What, <clears throat> what's the current energy for my Aries? Six of Cups, can't make this up. Ace of Swords, the Lovers, wow! Eight of Pentacles. So in your current energy, this right here, these three cards right here, are saying to me that a lot of you with the Six of Cups, Six of Cups is about reunion, connecting with people from the past, loved ones, could be even family members. And it's no coincidence that this is, as I said, a few days out of... Um, Thanksgiving, so maybe you're still in holiday mode, maybe you've taken some time off, and um, some of you, this is a brand new beginning with the Ace of Swords, it's like a major blessing, major awakening, maybe you're reconnecting and restarting this relationship with your loved ones, particularly with the Lovers card and the Ace of Swords in the middle, to me, this could be, you might have not seen your loved ones for a little while, maybe they don't live in the same city as you, or maybe you disconnected for whatever reason, but with these three cards, what this is saying to me, that you are willing to work, if you had disconnected, or whether there was, you know, either party did not make an effort, now you're willing to make Make an effort, work on that relationship to grow this relationship, whether it's brand new love, it could be brand new love for some of you, particularly with these two cards, Ace of Swords is a new beginning and the Lovers card could be with another Gemini. But to me, these two cards could also mean if you disconnected from family members, if there were things that weren't, maybe you had a rough patch, you weren't on talking terms or there was a misunderstanding. Now, both parties have put in the work and willing to put the work to take this relationship forward. That's also what this is saying. Now, take what resonates, leave the rest. This is a general reading, not a personal reading. If you'd like a personal reading, I've got two offers at the moment. I've got the Black Friday sales, which end tomorrow. Um, one question reading, only for $22. I've never, ever offered that. And if you desire a detailed personal reading, all the information is in the description box. Email me about it. All right, so this is in your current energy, which I love. So it's telling me that you're willing to do the work. You've worked on your relationship. And for some of you, this is you working on your relationship with yourself. So this with the Six of Cups, this could be certain things that you've come to like. And with the Healing Angel, Archangel Raphael, I feel like you're healing your relationship with yourself with whatever might have happened in the past. So take whichever storyline is for you. What is coming towards my Aries? What is coming towards my Aries? What is coming towards my Aries? And thank you to everyone that has been emailing me about Bali and Santorini. Oh my goodness, I am just loving connecting with you all and all the interest that you all are showing in Bali. 
I only have four spots available. Once those spots are taken, that's it. There won't be any more spots. It is a intimate, exclusive tour with me. Oh my goodness, I can't make this up. Major completion. I see this as success. Now, like I said, I can't make any of this stuff up. To me, a lot of you have reconnected with family members, with friends that you had disconnected with, with a judgment card. It's a rebirth. You completed a cycle and this new cycle that you're beginning in that relationship, friendship situation, this is a rebirth. This is a restart. Re this is fresh new beginning that old stuff you've closed out. Whatever misunderstandings, miscommunication, you've cleared it all out. And what's coming up is there has been, you know, new understanding, new insights. With the Ace of Swords, yes, you see things in a new light. You and the other person that you're involved with, whoever this person is, whether it's family members or um, love, a loved one, or could be, you know, your, a romantic partner, because we do have the Lover's card. Take whichever storyline resonates, but this is a major completion, a successful completion, particularly with the judgment card, because there has been a rebirth. There is a rebirth. Now, today is the final day to book for the full moon ceremony that I'm doing tomorrow. So if you'd like to register for that, the information is in the communities tab or comment below. It's exactly this. It's about closing out cycles and releasing things that don't serve you so you can have the rebirth and show up as yourself. This full moon ritual is like, or every ritual I do is unique in its own right because it gets downloaded and channeled. And this particular ritual, we're focusing on rebirthing of you in your full glory as the version you see yourself to be. Not the version that has experienced stuff, but the version you're claiming. You're claiming it and you're stepping into it. It's about rising, cleansing, Cleansing, purifying, and letting go, really, literally letting go of everything that doesn't serve you and focusing on the things that you desire and see yourself as. Today is the last day and then the registrations will close. You won't be able to join in once it's closed. All right, so somebody needs to hear that info in communities to have a comment below. But this here also tells me something else in terms of job context. Although we don't have, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So one of the other storylines for some of you could be that maybe you are, you didn't take any word time off during this time and you worked through it. So this Eight of Pentacles could be literal that you are working hard and you were at work and you're working on building your pentacles. Now, the other storyline for those, particularly in the work context, this could be, say, for example, you were doing, you could hear from a past employer or maybe, or, or a past, um, say for example, you were doing a particular type of work or in a particular industry and you no longer work in that industry. The world card and the judgment card together showing up two majors. This is pretty major. This is not little stuff. Major arcana showing up in your reading. These are big things. So this could also say, say that you are going to revisit that industry or that type of work, similar type of work that you used to do. Because now that's completion of a cycle, but there's a rebirth. So you could be, you know, say, for example, if you were working in air conditioning, I don't know, for an air conditioning company, you might go back to air conditioning company. Or say, for example, you used to work in travel agency. Now you're going to go back and work in travel agency, whatever the case may be. Or maybe you at a point in time were working with crystals and now you don't work with crystals. You're going to have that rebirth. You might come across your crystals and you'll be like, oh, I should bring them back and incorporate that. So it's that kind of energy right here. This is not talking about, you know, going back to past lovers. It could be if they've done the healing work and you've done the healing work. The, the, with, the, with this lover's card, this is not repeating the same cycle, particularly with these two cards. This is not the repeat of the same cycle. This is a brand new cycle. So even if you do have a new beginning with the Ace of Wands with this person, it has to be on new terms. It has to be, something has to change because you've completed that cycle. That's what Spirit is showing me clearly here. All right. <clears throat> so what's your advice? That just, oh my goodness, look at how many cards want. Like, Aries, your readings, like, so many cards want to come out. What's the advice for my Aries? What's the advice? All right. The same lot wants to come out, so we'll have to roll with it. Yeah, it's about walking away from people, places, situations that don't serve you. You need to complete a cycle because you saw them for... I, I, I can't make it up. Why the Spirit was giving me multiple cards is because in your advice, watch your back. 
this these two cards right next to each other watch your back so don't if you are starting a new relationship starting a new job whatever the case may be what spirit is saying here is that don't open up the entire pandora's box at once be vigilant be careful watch your back don't overshare don't you know if you have been hurt in the past learn from those lessons you've completed that cycle be use discernment and walk away from people places situations that don't truly deserve you and your time and energy and attention i'm going to keep it very real i'm in aries that's what spirit is giving to me i'm going to be saying it the way it's being channeled yeah because what is coming towards you is something exciting something playful something that's going to light you up this is very creative fun vibrant energy there is this aries at the moment in your energy there is a lot of fun and creativity all your readings i'm doing is talking about you need to have more fun stop taking things so seriously stop being so folk like stop having tunnel vision i feel like somebody here needs to hear that if you keep going to have tunnel vision that's where you're going to be you're not going to see or you'll miss out on all these amazing opportunities that spirit wants to give to you so open your eyes ears and your senses come to bali <laughs> that's what we're going to do because that's all an illusion if you're having tunnel vision that's an illusion this is all in your advice and that everything that glitters is not gold particularly with these these two cards right here in your reading everything that glitters is not gold so be aware if things are too shiny maybe they are too shiny for a reason so be careful about the shininess use your discernment oh my goodness i can't make this up leo energy is showing up loud strong and clear in your reading there's also um yeah so very strong leo energy right here in this reading with the wheel of fortune showing up but this is in your advice position you've done the time so the wheel can either move forward or it can move backwards or it can stay stale says stay stale that's interesting i said stay stale wow wowza so it can stay the same it won't move so what do you desire do you want the wheel to move to me in your advice position the wheel can turn in your favor provided you do that it's very very clear walk away from people places situations that don't serve you watch your back and don't get caught up in shiny object syndrome if something is too shiny is look into it don't fall for it you've learned your lessons this is big karma this is this is a big karmic cycle you've completed particularly with these the amount of mages that have showed up in your reading if i look at these it's all talking to me about completion now with completion comes beginning do you want to begin a brand new cycle or do you want to repeat the same old you already know the past do you want to go back to the past or do you want something new that's what spirit is saying loud and clear in your reading particularly with the judgment card because you you have you do have the opportunity to bring back people places situations from the past but in what capacity and what context are you going to do it in a way that serves you or are you going to do it in a way that serves them and that's what this really is saying do you want me to move forward do you want me to move backwards or do you want me to just stay where i am but this is abundance and prosperity there's a lot of abundance and prosperity in your reading and there is the ability and capacity for you to have fun be creative be playful at the same time so what are you going to do to bring that play element of playfulness in your life for somebody i feel like you will be definitely traveling the world with these two cards or doing something online so maybe if you're starting a business you might be doing an online business doing something to do with social media you let me know in comments as you see fit but i'm definitely picking that up particularly with the page of wands this could be you working on your creativity your passion your side hustle whatever the case may be for you any final cards i'll take those i i can't make this up somebody is definitely traveling with the three of um three of wands or whoever your family member is um or whatever this six of cups is they are they don't live with you whatever this six of cups at the start of your reading there's something at the distance or at a horizon or for some of you this could be literally travel 
traveling the world. And whatever this Three of Wands, again, this Three of Wands is Aries energy. We have a lot of Aries Leo energy here in your reading as well. So, yes, and we have Gemini. We have, yeah, we have Gemini. We also have some cups as well. So we have cups could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Take what resonates. Pretty much have everything. Not that many pentacles. Um, with these Three of Wands and Six of Wands, this is saying to me, victory and success will be yours. Whatever, like, if I look at this, if you turn the wheel in your favor, whether it's travel, whether it's job, whether it's relationship, because you do have the lover's card. I know a lot of you here say, I don't want love, but hey, I'm going to speak to the energy that's there. So these three cards right here is saying to me, victory, success is yours. So is abundance and prosperity. So claim this if that's what you want. The question is, are you ready and willing to welcome your ships? And once those ships arrive, are you willing and able to do the work? Because your willingness to do the work, to wel welcome those ships, because you can't see the ships. The ships haven't arrived yet. Once they arrive, there's work that's involved, right? So that's what will take you to your victory and success. So your ships could be doing the, the healing work with somebody else if it's in relationship context. Your three of wands could be applying for jobs, could be starting your business, could be registering your company, could be having your website up, whatever the case may be. But victory and success is yours. This is in your outcome position, Aries. Claim this. This is beautiful energy. And I will say this. The six of wands was not showing up in Aries readings for a very long time. And in recent times, in the, the past week or so, six of wands has been showing up quite a lot. Work with this energy. This is a very potent time, particularly with Aries being in North Node, with Jupiter, with so many things that are happening right now. And also the Scorpio season. We, and let's not forget the um, solar eclipse that happened in Aries in October. That's a six month energy. So when these cards keep showing up, there's a strong message. Work with this energy. Why? Then you're swimming with the current. You're not swimming against the current. Things will be easier. If you're swimming against the current, that's when things are difficult. So take, take what resonates for you and your individual situation. Last, last few things before I am. Um, I'm going to pull an oracle card from this gorgeous deck. So... Final few announcements. If you want to book your spot for the full moon ritual that's happening tomorrow, today is the final day to register. Info in communities tab or comment below. If you'd like information on Bali Centurini, book a private reading, follow me on social media or donate to my channel. All the information is in the description box. And if you want to take advantage of the Black Friday offer that is ending, tomorrow is the final day again for that, then Head to the communities tab or comment below. One question reads, I never ever do that. It's called rapid reading. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun and it gives me an opportunity to connect with a lot of you. So it's a, it's only $20 for one question. It's, it's nothing, <laughs> literally. But it is um, per question. So be very specific and clear to get the clarity that you desire. All the info is in the communities tab or comment below and I'll send you the link. The first one, Lady Luck. Are you kidding me? With the Six of Wands, Lady Luck. Lady Luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. Literally, claim that. Say, I am lucky. I am born lucky. Oh my God, I can't make this up. Look what this card says. Number 41 could be important. Lady Luck is on your side. A change of fortune is in store for you. A twist of fate that is meant to be. You're a winner, baby. You are a winner, baby. You're about to hit the jackpot. Oh my God. You're about to hit the jackpot. I don't make this up. I do not make this up. I do not make this up. I do not make this up. Look at these cards. These are in your reading. Claim, 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 claim it. Claim it, claim it. This is so good. I am excited because I'm an Aries too. So keep going. Let's keep going. 
Do you think that luck is something that only happens to other lucky people? Your attitude can attract luck to your side, no matter if you once thought you were the unluckiest person alive. Luck is attracted to a certain type of consciousness, an attitude, a belief that life wants to help you and has the infinite power and creative imagination to do that in endless ways. Attracting luck means being open to the genius of life, which works itself out perfectly, bringing benefits to us again and again, even if we have no clue how, where or why it operates the way it does. So your healing trip trick is, you might want to pause and come back to this part of the video. I'm so lucky in so many ways. I feel gratitude, love and joy in my heart for being so lucky today. I'm going to read that again. I am so lucky in so many ways. I feel gratitude, love and joy in my heart for being so lucky today. Gratitude was one of your cards that came right at the start. So if you didn't watch the start of the reading, go back and watch this reading. Silver Siren. I've never had this card come up. Number 37. Let's see. Two cards wanted to come up, so we'll roll with it. We know how we, we know the drill. If you've been in my world. Silver Siren. When is an enchantment not enchanting? When is it a spell that you allow to consume your free will? Even as it promises so much and yet delivers so little. The Silver Siren sings her song, A Pretty Poison to the Soul. Her false allure tempts the mind even whilst the heart feels that something is not quite right. Your power will come from discerning the truth and allowing her false promises no place in your heart. Oh my God. Somebody needs to watch the reading from yesterday. Enough said. The modern world, perhaps especially in the spiritual field, is laden with false light. This is the light that blinds and obscures rather than clarifies and reveals. False light is that which might seem dazzling on the surface, but underneath is nothing but hot air at best, and destructive energy that will not that will rot your soul at worst. Holy Moses! False light is the opportunity so intoxicating that even selling your soul to have it seems rational or the person so alluring that you are willing to deny your basic needs for respect and acknowledgement in order to spend even just a moment by their side. The false light is a seduction, a siren song, a promise of whatever it is you feel you cannot have unless you compromise your integrity to get it. Oh my God, someone needs to watch yesterday's reading, but this is the Eight of Cups, Five of Swords, and let's not forget, um, drum rolls please, right here in your reading. If you just joined us, watch the beginning is all I'm going to say. The silver siren comes to you when you are one of the souls with enough discernment, strength and integrity to be able to say no to the enchantment that will not enhance your life, but slowly and surely destroy it. The small compromise of your self-esteem would seem innocuous enough at first, but with cajoling and manipulation will con continue and eventually er erode at your soul until you no longer believe in yourself capable of living your best life, of receiving genuine love and affection, of having anything of value to share with the world. I mean, you have the lover's card, you have the judgment card and the world card right here. So the sparkling light disappears never to return. You now see, sense, feel or visualize a beautiful soft glowing light. It feels good. It is love. You can use your powers of Im imagination to see inside the light to perceive what is true, what it is truly made of. You see a beautiful golden face that smiles at you. You are, you feel loved. You feel blessed. Oh, claim this. You feel seen and heard and protected. You relax and know that the universe is always looking out for you. Your healing affirmation is, I recognize the truth behind the light. My heart instinctively recognizes what is right. Oh, so good. I recognize the truth behind the light. My heart instinctively recognizes what is right. This is so good. So, as I said, if you'd like to book private reading, Bali, Centurini, all the info is in the description box or donate to my channel. If you'd like to be part of the full moon ritual, or um, get into the, soup, the Black Friday sales, which is finishing tomorrow. Both offers, well, the full moon ceremony, today is the last day to book. So if you want to be part of that ritual, it's all about bringing that luck to you and leaving behind these illusions. Um, and if you'd like to book the one question read, that is finishing tomorrow, final day. It is going to be epic, a lot of fun. 
that is also in the communities tab where you can comment below so thank you Aries from the bottom of my heart for being here if you don't show up I don't show up your likes subscribes comments lets me know that you want me to continue doing these readings daily so thank you thank you thank you for being here with me I truly 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 appreciate you and Aries remember the power that is you by being you now and I will see you next time